Hello, I am Nancy from Mozilla Machine Learning Group. I would like to give you recent updates about our text-to-speech project, TTS. Let's start with a brief overview of TTS. TTS is a text-to-speech solution based on machine learning. It uses a data set of voice recordings and their transcripts to learn a machine learning model synthesizing speech from text. In training, our model takes each sentence as a character sequence, then tries to sequentially predict the speech signal. The prediction is compared with a real signal, and based on the difference the model is updated with gradient ascent algorithm. Our model comprises four main modules. Encoder takes the character sequence and computes a latent feature vector per character. Attention chooses characters that are necessary to compute the next signal frame by decoder. In the figure, you also see how the attention module learns to attend by the time. Given the information by attention, decoder computes an intermediate representation called spectrogram, as shown in the figure. At the final part, spectrograms are converted to audio signal by vocoder. Vocoder might be an algorithm like Griffin Lim or another machine learning algorithm. Hereupon, I'd like to share the latest updates. TT has generated two new models, one is me, Nancy. We also know from our community that people are able to generate a Chinese-speaking model. We have two main architectural model updates. Attention module is updated with location-sensitive attention and a variation of weight decay collaborated with model training. STTS also supports single or multiple node distributed training and we implemented a generic data loader very flexible to adapt different datasets. At the final part I also like to introduce a model which helps our research on vocoder part of the problem. Attention module has been updated to consider more about the monotonic nature of the problem. Therefore, we change to location-sensitive attention, which aligns much faster than the previous version and leads three times faster model convergence. One of the previous problems of TTS was overfitting, which means lack of generalization of the model against sentences outside of the training set. There we see two figures comparing validation loss of two different runs with and without our proposed weight decay operation. The lower model starts to overfit after 130,000 steps. The upper model continues to learn without overfitting with weight decay. TTS supports distributed training with the new release. The main idea of our distribution algorithm is gradient sharing among nodes. After each step, nodes send their gradient values to the master process, and it averages gradients to be shared among all the nodes. This provides better decoupling of compute-heavy operations. Generic data loader makes a lot easier to use TTS for new data sets. The user only need to write a simple adapter for her own data set, and then she can easily train a new model. Our current research mainly focuses on vocoder part of the model. Currently we use Griffin Lim algorithm, but it is shown that neural networks perform better. Therefore, we implemented a new vocoder network. Our model's architecture has two convolutional networks processing spectrograms and upsample them to match with the audio resolution. Then, outputs are processed dense and recursive layers. We found that this model is very easy to train compared to other alternatives. We have two main plans for TTS. We are currently working on the integration of our current model with a neural vocoder to increase the audio quality. We believe it is soon to be done. Unfortunately, that would replace me in the next all hands, but it is fine by me. And we'd like to adapt multi-speaker embedding in order to synthesize multiple voice types from a single model. Before I conclude, I would like to thank you all for your attention and if you'd like to learn more, please ping our colleague Erin after the talk. Until the next all hands, take care and speak to you soon.